Okay, so in our back to basics here, this is the one that I had just did an epoxy method glitter coat on. And I'm going to go ahead and do its flood coat. If you do this properly, when you do your flood coat, you're ready for decal. It should be completely coated at that point and ready to go. So I have 40 mLs mixed up here. I have other cups ready for coats. So I didn't just mix for this. And I did warm this epoxy, so it is pretty fluid. I'm not going to stick my hand in this cup because I don't want to contaminate any other glitter or the rest of the resin with glitter I mean because like I said I do plan to do the next cup in line from this cup as well but you want to coat it to the point where your gloves not sticking on the glitter where it should just smooth across it And it should fill everything. It should smooth right over the glitter and seal it in. I did not spray seal this. This is a single color. It's an unnecessary step. And sometimes when you spray seal, it can dull your glitter or change its color even if you're not careful. So um, for a solid color, especially one done with the epoxy method, it's completely not necessary. I don't recommend it. <clears throat> Make sure you get that little crevice at the corners of the handle. And underneath the handle and in there. I'm just trying to work it in, make sure I have enough coverage. And don't forget the bottom. You can see where it's um, a little dull there where that could use a little bit more. So I will get that on its next pass around. A lot of doing cups is um, working by the feel and the visual hand in hand. pulled back up and you do want to get a good bit on the lip of the cup I notice a lot of times with the glitter cups um, you'll end up with a little bit rougher edge if you're not careful It's especially important to me with this cup to get a good coat because, um, and this will be a beyond the basics type video for the finishing of this cup, but this cup's getting a peekaboo wood grain, so it, I'd really like it smooth at this coat, or as smooth as possible before I decal it and paint over it, so I am kind of taking extra care to make sure it's full coverage. I do think I'm going to go ahead and put just a little bit more through the center there. And the resin will move and fill in and 
they are self-leveling for the most part. And the edges of the handle might still be a little bit rough, um, but by the time it gets the final coat, it won't be. And it really shouldn't make too much difference on the next step. Um, I do like to, and again, I don't want to stick my finger in here. Um, even though you can see my glove, there's like two flecks of glitter that got loose. The epoxy method really does seal it down nice. Um, I do like to run my finger along the inside lip. Not inside the cup, but just along the top. That way I know I have a good seal when I clean it up at the end before delivery. So, that is it for that part of the process. And I will come back and finish this cup entirely in one video. I just wanted to do the flood coat back to basics part as a second video follow up to the glitter part. So that is it. That's the next step.